Did you ever play educational games as a kid? In my case, I used to have a few CD-ROM games and even some on the PS1, like this Bob the Builder game, and it got the FU treatment. Don't make me bake this cake in real life. But what if you had younger siblings that wanted to go on your PS4? You wouldn't want little Timmy to accidentally play GTA 5 because, oh no! Video games are too violent! So what if there was a video game console dedicated to those educational games? There was the VTech Vsmo, but then some dude in California destroyed it. Well, there's this, the Leapfrog Leap TV. For those who don't know, Leapfrog is a company that specializes in educational toys and games for children. They had some portable consoles like the Leapster, and it was actually pretty good. But back to the Leap TV. This console was released on October 20th, 2014, making an 8th gen console. It was sold for $150 in the US. That's about a third of the price compared to the PlayStation 4. Because shit, money doesn't grow on trees, do they? I have a dollar. The box is pretty stupid, honestly. I mean, come on, learn through motion? Look, mom, I'm learning through motion. Get minds and bodies moving. Sounds like TikTok. The controller is quite weird too. It has this glowing light ripping off the PlayStation Move, which is a ripoff of the Wii. You're ripping off a ripoff. You're ripping my soul! My dark souls to be exact. I mean, look at this thing. I can't tell if this is a frisbee or an egg. What? I'm hungry. Yes, this thing does have an HDMI port, though it can only support up to 720p. Then is the ethernet port as well as Wi-Fi support, so you could download content from the Leap TV App Center. Just thinking about this online stuff would make me consider about playing it online with this thing. Nah, I'm kidding. As a matter of fact, LeapFrog's customer support page even has FAQ articles, with one specifically saying, does the Leap TV system support online multiplayer? What do they reply? No, the Leap TV system supports local multiplayer within the same room but does not support any games that permit a child to play with someone else over the internet. Only local multiplayer? Lame. So no worries on hearing little Timmy cussing out some other hell spawn. Are you winning, son? One plus one equals you're dead. This console uses cartridges. Just a bit bigger compared to a DS cartridge, and actually about the same size as a GBA cartridge. No, stop supercharging Mario's pinballs, you sick fuck! Actually, this is smaller than all of these cartridges, because if you look at the rear of this cartridge, it's actually just a micro SD card inside some plastic housing. Like, honestly, this is stupid! I think I've talked enough about the console. Let's fire it up. Adult supervision required? <laughs> yeah, sure. Gonna need more of this. So the first game we're gonna review is Kart Racing Supercharge. Probably won't be as good as Mario Kart or Crash Team Racing, but probably competing for Dog Shit Game of the Year against Race with Ryan or Garfield Kart. So let's do a tournament and go with hard. Hard. There's eight characters to choose from. <laughs> you have Mr. Pencil? They could have come up with a better name, so they just came up with Mr. Fucking Pencil. Guys, we need ideas for a new character. Who's gonna compete with Leap? You, what's your idea? What the hell do you think you're doing? This is Mr. Pencil. <laughs> That's stupid, but it's a character. Let's write it down. Can I eat the glue now? No, dumbass, you don't eat glue, you snort it! <sighs> Stretchy Monkey, the Roly Polies. Sounds will be based on Roly Polioli. Gadget and Bit, the Geo Team, Ty, and of course, Leap. What's with this face? Leap the Creep went to the deep to go meep. After facing execution for multiple crimes against humanity during the Nuremberg Trials. Oh yeah, this is definitely a Mario Kart ripoff. I mean, come on. Frog Cup? ABC Cup? Earth Cup? Fruit Cup? Let me eat my fruit cup in peace, you bitch. I just spilled my fruit cup. I'm fucking pissed! Now you would think you would just get straight to the racing, but nope. 
That's where the education comes in. Because Leap doesn't even have wheels to begin with. I want to die. This is pretty straightforward. You just simply match numbers, get two correct answers, and you get a power-up. But how's the actual racing experience? Well, subpar, I guess. This track isn't exactly what a person would call appealing. As I mentioned before, it's a Mario Kart ripoff. You can shoot weapons, and when you actually do something interesting, your character won't shut up. And when you finish the race, you get the cheapest celebration possible. It's just a cheering sound effect on loop, as well as some sort of fireworks gif. At this rate, anyone would much rather get a trophy and be told, You're winner! Oh cool, they're cheering about Leap getting hit by a giant D. Real winners have a giant D! Hmm, I wonder what happens if I get mostly everything wrong. Does it tell you that you're screwed? Nah, they just tell you that your card is fixed. Like, Ver, fuck off! Once you finish the tournament, you get your usual celebration. But what's really stupid is that, one, the celebration isn't anything special. They just copy and pasted the normal cheer and fireworks from winning a normal race. Like, come on, that's just lazy. And second of all, isn't this supposed to be educational? Well, explain to me how the Eiffel Tower is near a damn beach and how clouds are that close to the ground. This game has already failed two classes. Good job. The game automatically accelerates your cart, which is nice, but the steering is kind of unresponsive. But then again, you don't even have to steer the cart to even finish a race. Look at that. Mr. Pencil doesn't need me. In terms of difficulty, it doesn't mean much. I could give these CPUs a 60 second head start and still win it. Look at that, Burfter won, he doesn't need you. You're useless to him. I will murder your children. The LeapFrog TV also has its own form of achievements. PlayStation has trophies, Xbox has gamer score. Well, LeapFrog has badges. You've earned one new badge. Just a golden star. I'm a star! <sighs> well, hon, at least you're not a falling star. Then again, you didn't make a crater. Ah! The next game is Pet Play World. This is nothing to write home about. It's just you with some lame pet and some meeting games. Even Starfall is more entertaining. It was actually educational. It made you wonder where your identity truly is. Because you know you're secretly a fucking liar. Want another ripoff? This is pointer training games. It's a ripoff of the Xbox Kinect and actually uses the camera. This is actually designed to help master the controller. Who the hell is that? It's like the little ALL dial-up dude. He's quite soulless. He doesn't want to be here, he just wants to go back to his dial-up. I can just imagine he's cussing out this game. There's really nothing interesting about this. You just point at rings. As if Superman 64 wasn't enough. Shut up. So after you find out how many points you earn, you have the option to play again. <laughs> I love how even the game is aware that you're not going to want to play this crap again. Play again and try to beat your score. Absolutely not. And the console just froze. Your Leap TV needs to be repaired? Okay, Leap TV, your leaping days are over. How about I leap my foot up your ass? I will be at the beach. Bye, bitch. Ow. You want the beach? Fine, let's go to the beach. There you go, we're at the beach. That's just the shower curtain of the beach. No shit, we live in the Midwest. How miserable. Ain't that true. Well, lucky for you, the water's nearby. No, 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 not the next bad water. No, You're going no, in the no, frog no, spot, no, no, no. bitch. I hope you get Enjoy leaping in hell, you dumb fuck.